So Wave Share just dropped this new board and it's kind of nuts how much they crammed into it. The only problem is when you got this many features, where do you even start? Well, I'm Jay Blanked and in this video, I'm going to take you from opening the box to building your first real featured packed interactive project. Best of all, you can choose your weapon. We'll cover how to do it in both the beginner friendly MicroPython and the powerful C++ framework with Arduino IDE. No wrestling with complex build environments. Just you, this board, and some straightforward code I prepared for you in both languages. So let's get into it. Okay, before we can bring this screen to life, we need to get the board ready for code. The process is a bit different for MicroPython and Arduino. So start by downloading the Wave Share repository from my GitHub. I have a link in the description below. My libraries also support the official Raspberry Pi Pico SDK, but for today, we'll just go over MicroPython and Arduino IDE. Now, if you're using the MicroPython version, we'll start by flashing the firmware. You need to have a USB-C data cable. What we're going to do is press and hold the boot button. If you're facing it this way with the USB-C port to the left, the boot button is the first button or the most left button. All we have to do is literally just hold that button and then plug in the USB-C cable like that and then we can let go. The board will show up on your computer like a USB drive named RP2350. And inside the WaveShare repository you downloaded from my GitHub, navigate to RP2350 Touch LCD 3.49, then Builds, MicroPython, and there is the UF2 file. All we have to do is simply drag and drop the file onto the RP2350 drive, and the board will restart itself and just like that, it's ready. Now, the other thing we'll need for the MicroPython version is Thani IDE, which you can download for free from Thani.org. And after that, just open it up and we're gonna make sure we're connected to the board by selecting MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico from the interpreter list in the bottom right corner. Then go up to view and make sure files is checked. And then from here, Navigate to the WaveShare repository you downloaded earlier. Click on RP2350 Touch LCD 3.49 and then go to Examples, MicroPython, Test. And now we need to upload all the files from inside to your board. You can do this by selecting all of the files and then right click and select Upload To. And that's it. Now for Arduino IDE users, the process is even simpler. You don't even have to worry about a UF2 file. Just make sure you have Arduino IDE installed. Then inside of the WaveShare repository you download it, click on RP2350 Touch LCD 3.49, then Examples, Arduino IDE, Test. And all we have to do is double click the test.eno file and it will open up the sketch and load the file and libraries. The great news is these libraries do all the heavy lifting. Okay, so the hello world of a board with a screen is drawing something to get that quick visual win. So let's see how simple it is in both languages. The good news is the logic is literally identical. We're just going to initialize the display, draw some shapes and text, and then push that buffer to the screen all at once to prevent flickering. Let's take a look at this by double clicking on test.py. Close the shell for now. So at first we import our libraries, and then we initialize the LCD. Then after that, we initialize the other modules. After that, it first checks if the SD card is active, then it creates a directory, then it writes to a file within that directory and then reads back the file contents. And now after that, all we're doing is drawing various shapes. We fill the screen with black, then we draw a red rectangle, we draw a green rectangle, um, a blue circle, a yellow circle, a blue line, a violet triangle, 
and then we end with some text. And then after that, we call lcd.swap, which pushes everything to the display. And the Arduino IDE version is almost the same. We include the different library files, and then inside of the setup function, we scroll down to here. We do some similar initialization, including an SD card test. And then just like the MicroPython version, we are drawing shapes and text to the screen and then pushing everything all at once using LCD swap. Now, one thing that's different about the Arduino IDE and the Raspberry Pi SDK version is our touch module uses a interrupt callback. Let me briefly explain. Let's go up to the top to see our callback. So whenever touch is detected, it reads the last touch point and then prints it to the serial. It also reads the battery percentage and voltage. Although the MicroPython version doesn't use a callback, it still operates almost the same. Within our while loop, we're constantly checking if the user touched the screen. And then just like in the Arduino IDE and SDK versions, we are printing the last touch point along with the battery percentage and voltage. Now, in both versions, we are also reading the accelerometer in gyroscope data and then printing it to the screen. And then after that, we have a simple animation of a circle in a rotating line. And that's literally it. The Arduino IDE version does the exact same thing, but within the loop method. Okay, let's see this in action. Upload the code from your chosen environment. For MicroPython, we've already put the files on our board. And for Arduino IDE, all you have to do is click the upload button and it will push the code to the board. So within Thani, click on stop and then go and click on run. And here we are. You see the shapes, the demo text. Then we have our rotating image. And then after that, we have our accelerometer and gyroscope. And you can see if I move it left and right or up and down, we see the values changing. And if I touch the screen, we see it printing the last touch point along with the battery percentage and voltage. Okay, and within Arduino IDE, all we literally do is click the upload button and we'll see the exact same demo. Okay, so here we go. We have our shapes, the text, we have our image again. And then after that, we have our same demo. Now, unlike the MicroPython version, the touch is sent in the serial. So to see that, we can open Arduino IDE and take a look. So to open up the serial, just click the serial monitor icon. Make sure that you are connected to the same port that your board is on. And then whenever you touch the screen, as you see, we have our battery percentage, the voltage and the touch position. Well, there you go. We've taken the brand new WaveShare RP2350 Touch LCD from the box to a complete interactive project. We've seen how easy it is to use all of its best features, the display, the touch, the accelerometer, gyroscope, the battery monitor, and the SD card using either MicroPython or C++ in the Arduino IDE with the libraries I've prepared. This board is an amazing all-in-one platform for building portable gadgets, custom user interfaces, or even handheld sensor stations. What we built today is really just scratching the surface. So if you found this video helpful and you want to see more projects like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss the next one. Now, I'd love to hear what you're planning to build with this board, so let me know down in the comments below. All the code for all the versions are up on my GitHub, and there's a link for that in the description. I'm Jay Blank. Thanks for watching. Peace.